Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool American uh, telephone. This is a wooden wall and it's made by the American Telegraph and Telephone Company. And so basically this is Robin's telephone from Kentucky. And so what's happened here is they had a bird uh, and I believe the bird knocked the uh, receiver capsule on the floor and it broke plus the wire which is the cloth cord that goes to the receiver capsule was chewed on. I also want to show you some other spots. Uh, I'm not sure if the bird did this, but some of the microphone or the transmitter lines have been cut. And we want to show you the inside of this telephone also because I believe there was some damage on the inside. And uh, we have some wires that are disconnected or has been chewed in half. And so what we need to do is repair everything. Uh, they do have a line cord. This telephone was as you can see the dial inside has been converted at one time and so I wanted to set up their line cord because they want to be able to take their line cord and go ahead and hardwire it back into the position that they were in but you have to have the, the, the wires in the proper um, place when you put them back uh, because of the bell and so basically we have uh, sorted them out where these two need to go to uh, one side of tip and ring and then we have uh, our other wire that would go to the other side of tip and ring. So basically uh, none of that will change since they want to uh, be able to connect the telephone back up the way they had it and I'm trying to move the wire out of the way here so that you can look at the uh, this is an older conversion from uh, years ago, uh, I suspect, and so we're just going to repair the telephone uh, for them and, and repair the damage. Now, we're going to, since this telephone's already been uh, converted at some point and they're used to it this way, um, obviously we're going, going to leave their line cord so that they can utilize that like they used to. Uh, but when we go to install um, a modular or the uh, receiver capsule um, cloth cord, that will be brown cloth cord, and we're going to make that modular. So basically, if anything happens to this, I think they got rid of the bird, but if anything like this happens again, basically what they'll be able to do since their receiver capsule is broken anyway, is we're going to go with a aftermarket receiver capsule that they can simply, which will have a modular port in it and then uh, the cloth cord will have a modular plug on it and they can plug it in just like they would any handset although it's just the receiver capsule. So it'll be more plug and play if they ever have uh, the receiver capsule ever gets broke they can get a replacement or if the cord goes bad they will always be able to uh, replace it because it'll be a modular plug-and-play type situation since the telephone has already been converted anyway it's not going to make much difference and uh, so that's uh, kind of what we're going to be doing we're going to take a short break from the video and uh, start working on this telephone and get everything back together so that our magneto is ringing the original bell again and the bell that rings when you get a telephone call is inside the bell box here behind the uh, rotary. So we're just going to be working towards that uh, repair of the phone and we'll get some more video just as soon as uh, we get a chance to uh, get some things repaired here. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with this telephone. So we're going to run through a few things that we had to do. Uh, on the transmitter, we had to repair the lines going to the transmitter. We also replaced the receiver capsule because there was not a receiver capsule when this telephone came in and we also installed a brown modular cloth cord 
And so basically this uh, receiver is a plug and play. So we can simply unplug it. And if anything happens like it did before, they can always replace the brown cloth receiver capsule cord and it's more plug and play now. Since this telephone was already converted in the past, um, we went with a modular situation. That way they could always replace the cord if they needed to. So now what we want to do is our final checks. We're going to go ahead. One of the issues was the magneto was not ringing the bells. So we want to go ahead and ring the bells real quick. And then we'll go ahead and ring the telephone and that bell when you get an incoming call since the telephone was converted it uh, rings at the bell box or the subset. So we'll go ahead and ring the telephone. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll go ahead and answer it and give you some dial tone. Now we want to open this telephone up and this telephone is on a magnet. And the line cord is loose here because it's hardwired and they have a situation where they have their wires that come out and we have marked the line basically where they would connect up to. So we also had to go in and we went ahead and cleaned the rotary while we were in it. We had to go into the magneto because that magneto would barely turn and so we had to oil that. Now go ahead and ring the bells one more time. And so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead, if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers go by. We'll go ahead and dial out. I'm going to end in a 2. And I want to go ahead and transmit into the transmitter. And if you watch that red light on the analyzer, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Every time you see that red indicator light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So now that we know this telephone has receive, transmit, it's dialing out, it's ringing in, magneto rings the bells on the outside. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to move the line over to a regular telephone line and we'll call a time and temp number. So we'll give you some dial tone. We'll go ahead and open our door and dial our number out. and we'll call one other number. We'll give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. So now that we know that this telephone is fully functional and it has been repaired and parts have been replaced. We can get this telephone back to Robin 
and she can start enjoying it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.